to know each other a bit. Yeah, yeah. we do. Yeah, we played yeah. St. George's together. Yeah. Team BC and whatnot. So yeah. Um, Miguel, I'll start with you. What did it feel like to hear your name called? Yeah, I know it was definitely a relief. It's been a long process all year long, kind of thing with the combine and then playing during the whole season, kind of doing all the meetings and stuff. So it's pretty cool, and I've heard a lot of great things about Nashville. So super excited. How about, how about you? Uh, yeah, same thing as him. So much relief. I mean, I was overjoyed too. Uh, I've heard so many good things about Nashville, and uh, I'm super pumped to, to get things started. So yeah. How, how, how would you two describe your game? Uh, I'm a power forward with skill. I, I play with pace and, and I shoot the puck. So, and I also play physical. Yeah, I think I'm a pretty dynamic winger. Shoots the ice really well and has good hockey IQ. I think that's what I'm at my best. Is when I'm making plays, and I think I, I can do that at my best of my abilities, and that's what I'm gonna bring. Uh, Miguel, one of your coaches, uh, we asked him uh, to describe your game in one word, and that was buzzsaw. Does that feel pretty apt to you? Yeah, I'd say so. I think kind of just around the ice, and kind of, kind of energetic, and just around the rink too. Just kind of person I am as outgoing. So I think that's pretty accurate. And Hiroki, uh, obviously, like the physicality is a huge part of your game. How have you been able to use your uh, size and your grit to your advantage as a WHL? Uh, I just feel like it gives gives me more time and space out there, and uh, and yeah, it, it definitely helps. Uh, just, just my team overall too, just wearing down the other team. So, so yeah. Are you guys fans of country music, or is that is that more of other other genres, or what? Yeah, yeah definitely. Country, from from Western Western Canada. Canada. Yeah, yeah. Okay. yeah. <laughs> Any particular artist? Or? Zach Ryan, Morley Wallet. Yeah. <laughs> Are there NHL players that you guys kind of model your games around? Uh, yeah, for sure. Uh, Trent Frederick on Boston uh, is a big one, and, and yeah, I watched a lot of his games this year. So yeah. I think a guy that I watch most is probably Nathan McKinnon. I think he's a pretty good player. I just kind of try to take a little bits out of his game and just kind of see how he plays and what he does well out there. What are your plans for the summer? For uh, the rest of the summer? The rest of the summer, probably just working out, playing hockey, and hanging out with the fellas. Yeah. Yeah, I'd say the same thing. I'm down to Vancouver training, so I got that going on. Uh, your little brother is a WHL prospect as well. Is he watching you super closely through this process? Yeah, yeah, he came here up? with me and, and he, he told me he was super nervous for me, but uh, he was overjoyed when he, heard, when he heard my name called, so yeah. What has coming to the WHL done for your development? Uh, it's, it's, it's kind of done everything. I mean, uh, it's such a, I improved so much this year and uh, I have to thank my coaches and my teammates a lot. Nikki, how about you? Uh, why did you want to go the WHL route and how has it uh, helped you out? Yeah, I think kind of just looking at the rosters and the players that have come through the, the league, it's been really good. And there's a lot of good, great players in the league now that I get to go compete against every night. And I like competing against the best and I like being out there against the best. So for me, I think that it's kind of one of the biggest things. And just like you said, like the development there with like the education and stuff, it's a really good, really good way to get to the NHL. Uh, when you guys see so many guys that you compete so hard with all season, is this like an event that kind of brings you together, or do you still see your competition when you're passing each other out there? Uh, I'd say a little bit of both, for sure. <laughs> yeah, I'd say the same thing. I think kind of getting to the combine and meeting the guys, getting a little bit closer, it's definitely pretty cool. We're kind of going through this together without each other on the ice, kind of battling against each other. We wouldn't be here, so I think that's something that, that we take in mind, too. But yeah, definitely bit competitors as well when we, when we go back to our teams and play each other so it'll be pretty fun. What do you guys think of the sphere? Oh this place is incredible. I don't think there's anywhere else in the world just like it. Yeah. Yeah I'd say the same thing just like the technology and stuff that they can put on here it's pretty incredible. How are you going to celebrate tonight? Uh, probably just spend, spend, spend some time with my family and uh, have, a, have a safe flight home. <laughs> Yeah, I'd say the same thing a lot. I got some family here and then family at home, so I'll probably make some calls to them and then just some buddies that got picked too, so it'll be pretty fun. Well, he didn't uh, fly back on WestJet. Uh, no, I don't think so. <laughs> <laughs> Thank you, Thank you. Thank you. you guys. You guys smiling separately and then we're going to do it together.